Hey Leo, Mariah here. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing really, really well. I know the video quality is a little bit different today, but due to Hurricane Barrel, my regular camera is out of commission as of right now, so you can thank the weather for that. But hopping on into your reading, I want to see what's going on and what is happening with you at this time. Of course, we're moving through July, so I want to see what is coming through for you, whatever needs to be known or said. So Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors for Leo. What do they need to know at this time when it comes to just whatever's going on important in their life? We got vulnerability coming out for you. Hmm. How do you get the help you need if you won't speak up? That's what I just heard. How do you get the help you need if you won't speak up? You know, sometimes people really struggle with being vulnerable to the point that their pride and their ego will get in the way and they will suffer in silence versus saying what's really going on or they'll let their pride and ego get in the way versus trying to make peace and make amends because having to be vulnerable and admit your wrongs or admit maybe what you've done or even having to address certain things that you're dealing with internally, that's a struggle. Having to put that to the forefront is really tough. I feel like I'm dealing with the person here that does wear that armor of protection when it comes to vulnerability. Being vulnerable with others may be just a difficulty for you. So you may be in a situation where you need help or maybe just having some type of saving grace would be beneficial to you right now, but having to speak up and say that we're vulnerable or say that we're struggling or say that we don't have it or we need to borrow or, hey, can you help me out with this is really difficult for us. On the flip side of this though, you may be dealing with a person who struggles with being vulnerable. You may be dealing with a person who kind of in the reverse, where they may be prideful or they don't want to open up just because having to show their vulnerability may come off as a sign of their own weakness. So I don't know how this is falling here for you, Leo, whether this is you or somebody that you are dealing with. But I'm looking at somebody that needs to either get something off their chest or they need to ask for help but it's like being too prideful to budge or being too prideful to make amends or say what it needs to be said because that means we would have to be vulnerable and be open about some things that we are insecure about, that we don't feel comfortable with, that we are uncertain on. And having to discuss that with another person feels like overexposure. Somebody doesn't wanna feel overexposed. It's like, it, it reminds me, what's the word, cringe? It almost feels cringe internally having to put your business out there or, and there we go. Having to put your ten, uh, business out there and ask for help. Ten of Wands coming out. Can you tell me more about this for Leo? Six of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Okay. Um, so this is probably where the, a lot of you will fall off. I'll just let you know that now. Uh, I feel like I'm dealing with the Leo who you... You have a lot that you're having to deal with. You have a lot on your plate and you could use help. You could use extra resources. You could use whether that's additional money, whether that is, you know, somebody able to help you formulate a plan. Maybe you're dealing with your own personal struggles, whether it's emotionally, psychologically, resourcefully, materially, spiritually. And we know we need assistance. We know it's hard for us to keep going on our own at this rate, but there's something within us that's saying, push through, keep going, push through, keep going. And all I see is a person potentially setting themselves up for burnout because you're overextending yourself, because you're putting all the pressure on yourself to not be vulnerable, to not reach out for help when you need it for whatever reason. And it's like somebody's suffering in silence when you don't have to. I don't know if you feel like you don't have anybody around you where you can go and reach out to help like, hey, can I come stay with you? Hey, can I borrow some money? Or, hey, I don't know what to do about this situation. Can you give me some advice? Maybe you feel like you don't have anybody in your corner. And if that's the case, then you're going to have to figure out what resources or people that you can go to and put that pride and ego to the side. I know that's a typical Leo trait. It's stereotypical as anything. But just for all of us as human, that can get in the way from and prevent us from reaching out for help. What's the old saying? A closed mouth don't get fed. That's what this feels here. Like you're just trying to be so strong. Um, what is this about? What is this about? I gotta see, what is this about? Why are you dealing with? Uh, the letter J comes to mind. So Johnson, Jimmy, January.
We got the sun in the reverse. Well, there you go. The knight of swords and the justice. You might have got some... Ooh, 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 geez, Leo. You may have got some news on something uh, that has placed you in this position of feeling vulnerable. So maybe you found something out. Maybe uh, a determination came forward. But it's put you in a place where now you're needing help or now you're needing assistance or you feel like you can't carry all this load on your own. Everything that's on your plate, you can't do it on your own. And if you do have people that are around you and we're not reaching out to these people for help because of our pride or maybe we feel like they're not going to help us. Maybe we feel like they're going to hold it against us. Sometimes when we're depending on how much we're having to deal with and how much we're having to struggle on our own. Sometimes you got to put that to, to the side and get what you need to save yourself because only you will save you. And if you're not allowing somebody else into your space to help save you or help you with the situation or at least be there in some form, I just see you constantly carrying this energy on you and it not improving. It's like how people start feeling sickness or they start to feel some kind of ailment and they think, okay, I'll give it time. I'll feel better. And usually in due time, they don't feel better. They end up having to go to the hospital or going to their doctor because they could have had it addressed earlier, but now they wanted to wait and now things get more severe or things go untreated. So now things can get worse. This is the same thing that I'm looking at here for you. This can, you can get the help you need. You can receive the help you need, but you got to ask. And if the people or persons that you're asking for assistance from cannot help you, you got to find another way. But this is just way too much on you. Like if I was to give you one more example of this, this would be like, let's say you found out that you got let go of your job. And now you're in a position of worrying about your finances and your living situation because you don't have any more income coming in. And in, in this economy, it's tough. And it's like you, you need help to help you through these maybe months or weeks of unemployment, but it's like having to put out there on front street that I lost my job or, hey, I can't take care of myself. As an adult, as an adult, there can be some underlying shame with that. And there's no need to be shameful. Five of Pentacles, death in the reverse and the nine of cups. Who energy is this? I'm sorry, this is not the most uplifting reading. I feel like I'm touching on a real life situation though. Because it, it reminds me of somebody like praying or trying to manifest a good result or a good outcome. Somebody trying to pray and manifest a way of getting um, the resources or the help they need or the answers they need without having to ask and it not working. Feeling like your prayers are going unanswered or your manifestations are not coming true because you're not seeing it come to pass. When in reality, it feels like spirit is saying, hey, I'm willing to help you and now either arrange the people in your life to help you or I'll make the resources available for you to get the help. But you got to take the first step. This is like, what's the saying? Faith without work is dead. This is you having to take the first step to help yourself so spirit can then bring in the people or then bring in the resources to come and give you the help to, to help you through the rest of this process. I just think this this ego, it's either an ego death you're having to go through or you got to go through or you got to get rid of that pride, that shame, that embarrassment, that guilt. Whatever is holding you back, we don't want to look like we can't take care of ourselves. We don't want to look like we're incapable. We don't want to show people we struggling or that we're going through our own thing too. It's reminding me of somebody who likes to present as strong and like to be strong. Maybe because you're used to being the strong one. Maybe that's all you've known. And now you're in a position where you can't be strong for yourself. It's like you're still trying. That's why I'm getting this burnout because you're burning two ends of a candle and you can't, you cannot continue on that way. It's not going to change. Just like I said, if you have an ailment thinking that time is going to allow things to get better, it doesn't. This is spirit like almost pleading with you, asking you, ask for help, speak up, say you have an issue. I know, I know. I want to tell you, I know personally, Leo, how tough, and I mean how tough it is to ask for help. I know how tough it is to ask for help. But don't kill yourself don't put yourself in a further fucked up situation because you're too prideful to say, hey, I don't have it. 
I can't do it. I am struggling. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get through the situation. I don't know how to move on. I don't know how to handle my finances. I don't know where my next check is going to come in. I don't know if I'm going to have this roof. It's okay to say something, but you got to say something. I know it personally. Did me get a little emotional there, but I, I get you. Um, so what is Leo to do? I want to see what are, what are you to do about this then, you know? What is Leo to do about this situation? The word Jasmine, but I'm, uh, it's more of the, the flower. Flower. Essential oils is coming to mind. Jasmine is coming to mind, like homemade remedies. I'm even like Epsom salts. I don't know if you're using anything to kind of help center your mind. Whether you're into like herbalism, maybe you're using the essential oils. Um, it gives me a very Venetian energy. Um, like sensual things that make you feel good. So maybe it's it's good music. Maybe it's good foods. Maybe it's you doing something creative. Um, even self-care, spa day at home, going to get your nails done, going to get your hair cut, going to get a new fit. There's something that you're trying to do to, if you will, numb your nervous system from feeling what you're feeling. It's, it's using this kind of as a form of escapism. It is in a sense self-care and getting your mind and energy back to a a steady place but it's like we're using these alternatives to make us feel better but it's only a temporary solution it's not fixing the issue the issue gets fixed when you speak up um when you say hey i need help so it's it's almost like you're trying to pacify yourself in the time being self-soothing but it's only putting a band-aid on it there's still that vulnerability that you're having to deal with with yourself so we have the hierophant what else should uh what should leo do about this situation the two of swords and let's see lastly here for you what should leo do about the situation the four of pentacles devil in the reverse get out your own way don't say don't sabotage your own self don't sabotage your own freedom it just feels like there's an like trying to speak up, it feels like you're, like, cause I can feel somebody's, it's like your hands around my throat, like suffocating. You almost, there may be almost this feeling of feeling claustrophobic or feeling suffocated when we're having to speak about our vulnerabilities or our deepest needs that we need met that we can't meet at this time. It's like you may be comfortable to speak your mind on other things or speak up or say how you feel. That's not a problem with you, right? If you got a problem with something or somebody, you can easily tell them off, say what you gotta say and go about your day. But when it comes to really having to show that true weakness on the inside, it just feels like somebody is just like suffocating me. And that's what your energy feels like. There's people willing to help you if you would just look and see. With that hair font, there's people willing to understand your plight. There may be organizations or even resources that can be of an outreach that you can go to that can get you help, whether it's you needing financial helping, whether it's housing assistance, whether it is job placement, whether it is helping you figure out your next career. Hell, even if you're in a certain industry and maybe you got a big choice or decision or move you got to make with your business or work and you just don't know what to do. This is somebody within that same industry. If you were to reach out or use your contacts that could actually help you figure out an answer versus you having to suffer in silence about it. But if you can open up and just state your case, and for some of you, if this is more of a personal or spiritual development thing, this may be finding your religious home, your spiritual home. Maybe you need to find a church that relates to you where you can go somewhere and finally feel like you're in a congregation where you can be vulnerable. Maybe this is finding a spiritual group that really sees you and that is a part of your soul tribe. So you being open, honest, and very authentic about your troubles, they're able to resonate with that and able to pour life back into you and even help you through those things, whether it's through their words or through resources that they may have. This is finding a... I don't necessarily want to say community, like people out in the, you know, the people that's at the bar or the restaurant or at the park, you know, in your actual community. These feel like more religious or spiritual communities or people that are in alignment with those same spiritual beliefs or religious beliefs as you that can help you. Or if this is more external or material, people that may be a part of certain, again, organizations or um, people who may have contacts or even just the ones you know personally that's willing to help here. I want to see if, will things get better by, by you reaching out and just speaking up about whatever this is? 
Will things get better here for Leo? If they reach out, speak up, and allow themselves to be vulnerable. Ace of Swords in the reverse. By any chance, and it just hit me like a wave, by any chance that this is about a person more so romantically, and if on your end you feel like you're struggling to be vulnerable with them about maybe some things you're feeling, that's a clear sign that something's not right because a person that is right for you or for you in any means, you should feel comfortable to say what you feel on your mind or on your heart. You shouldn't have to feel like you have to walk on eggshells or you have to hold in some of the things that you want to say because you may feel like you may be weak or you don't want to rock the boat, whatever the root may be. If you're feeling that towards a person, that's your sign. That's just a clear sign that that person is not really right for you. Uh, if this is somebody who you may be dealing with who is showing a lack of vulnerability, then they have to speak up, but that's not your plight or your position to nurture them or hold their hand through that. They have to come to that Hail Mary moment of clarity on their own of, okay, I have to say something to Leo. Uh, but this feels much bigger than your love life, if I'm being honest. This feels like real life, real stuff, serious situations that are going on that's impacting you. Love is important of our lives, but this is like really affecting you in your mental, emotional, and psychological state uh, that has to be addressed. Can you tell me more? We got the Six of Cups. Last one, if Leo was to speak out on what's going on. The Empress. Ace of Wands. If you get over whatever is telling you not to say something or whatever it is that is making you feel like you can't speak up, if you were to actually speak up, you will find that you actually either have people that are willing to be there for you and actually give you, right? The Empress, she receives. She doesn't have to do much. She receives from others. She's the bearer of life. But also, too, just even being in the position of the Empress, I don't care if you're a man or a woman, you will be back to feeling not only like yourself, but feeling good and also having that reassurance that maybe you may not have at this time that actually people do care about you. People do want to be there for you. Even if you felt like they didn't, just even presenting what's going on to them, you will see that they will jump into action for you and be there. Or let's say, again, you don't have people by you reaching out to external resources or organizations, whatever it may be that has the help that you're looking for, you will come to find out that they're more than willing and kind to help you and point you in the right direction or give you the answers and clarity that you're seeking. Where how you are coming into this spread of feeling vulnerable and having all this weight on you and holding it in, this is the polar, this is polar opposite, total opposite of that energy. This is like you feeling good, back in your power, feeling like, okay, I got the answers. Now I can chill out, whoo, woosa, I can breathe. I don't have that energy on me anymore. This would be a total energy cleanse for you. This would be an absolute energy cleanse where you feel like, God damn, I should have acted sooner. If I would have known that it wouldn't have been that bad or if I would have known I could have gotten the help or if I would have known somebody would have had the answers I was looking for, if I would have just sought them out, I could have been back in this Empress energy, back to my good self, back to feeling like me again. And you will. It's just saying, no, you got to speak up and you got to speak out. Sorry for getting a little emotional here on your reading, Leo. I didn't mean to. I just know what that feels like personally when you, you are going through a lot and it's hard to ask for help. It's saying you need to. You, whatever this is, this vulnerable thing, even if it's just emotional pain you're dealing with, you need to seek somebody and there will be help for you in any means necessary. Um, I love you. I'm going to let you go right here. If I get more emotional, we ain't, we ain't doing all that. <laughs> we ain't doing all that. I love you. If you would love a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. Um, but if it connected, leave a comment. I love to see it. I always respond to the comments or leave a heart on the comments. So I check them all and I'll catch you next time, Leo.